Hi y'all, Sandy here. Today we're going to give this pre-loved authentic Louis Vuitton a cute makeover. This bag is called the Cellier Dragon. Not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, it is a discontinued pouch that was produced in the 90s until the early 2000s. As you can tell, it's epi leather. Now, this one is from 1998 and it's been through a lot. As you can tell, it has some stains. It looked like they have tried to remove it and didn't succeed. I purchased this pouch, obviously pre-loved, and it was only a hundred and something dollars, US dollars. I think it was like a hundred and seventy dollars. And I thought it was perfect for a little project. I like to give pouches and bags a little makeover every now and then when I have time. I just do, do it to relax. It relaxes me. And it is fun if you have, uh, if you end up with something that you can actually use. Now, as you can tell, the leather is a little bit wrinkled. I cannot do much about that, but he can clean up the hardware and just give the leather a nice cleanse and a little bit of paint. I'm also going to add a strap so I can wear it over the shoulder. Now in this video, I just want to show you the steps I take and the products I use. I am not a professional. I just do this for fun. I've been doing it over the years, so I have done it. I've learned from my mistakes and this has been working well for me. I will link all the products in the description box, so make sure to check that out. And if you've ever tried something like this, Please share your experience with me. Let me know what products you use when you give your bag a little makeover. Now, safety first, we are working with chemicals. So you want to protect your skin and you want to work in front of an open window, if not sit outside. Uh, some of these products smell horrible. Some don't smell at all, but that doesn't mean they are not a health hazard. I always like to start with cleaning up the hardware first. Brasso is my favorite product, so you just take some of the product and work it in. I could already tell here that a lot of residue would come off, so I switched the Q-tip for a cotton pad and just worked the product in. You can repeat this step as many times as you want. As you can tell, a lot of residue came off and you just keep repeating the same steps. It can take some time. It just depends on the result you want to go for. Now, if there is a really gunky buildup like this. I just like to remove it with a toothpick first. Yeah, it looks really crusty, disgusting. <laughs> but you want to remove this buildup before going in with the Brussel product. Now, this Brussel product smells very strong. Uh, you know, you if you, as you're using it, you can tell that you have to use this in front of an open window. These vintage items almost always have this sort of buildup. I don't know why, but you can definitely shine it up with the right products and make it look like new. Here I'm going in with the Brusso. This part, I don't want to make it super shiny. I'm not going to use the wristlet. I just want to, to clean it up. It doesn't have to be super shiny, but as you can tell, at least we have removed the gunk. I love using these water-based baby wipes. I always use these ones to clean my bags. So this is the very last step. So after using the Brosso over and over and over again, I just let it sit for a bit and then the final wipe down will be with a baby wipe just to see if I need to go back in with Brosso again. I like to start with this brussel first because it can get on the leather, but you can easily get it off. And then, as you can tell, super shiny. The hardware is a bit damaged, but there's not much I can do about that. But at least it's super shiny again. This is everything that came off. Look at all the gunk. This was all the dirt that came off. Now I'm going to prepare the leather for the painting. So I like to go in with this rubbing alcohol. We just give the bag a good wipe. We want to get rid of all the dirt, all the oils. So the paint will really attach to the leather. 
just give it a very very good rub so this is how it looks like after very dry as you can tell it looks very dry very matte and that is what we want because if you don't clean it properly the paint will come off almost immediately and you really want the paint to stick to, onto the leather since we're not going to dye this bag there's a difference between dyeing the bag and painting the bag but in this case i will only use the paint i will talk more about this in another video where i will also dye the bag i like to use this angelus or angelus however you pronounce it black paint And before we start painting the bag, make sure you removed all the dust. I like these microfiber cloths. They remove all the dust because you don't want to start painting. And then in the end, you will see all the dust sitting under your paint. You will start with a very small amount of paint. Even this, what you're seeing now is too much. You want a very, very thin layer, almost nothing because you don't want to end up with thick layers that uh, will just peel off you really want to work it into the leather and this epi leather has this texture so you really want to get in there properly so that's why i'm going back and forth like this this is after the first layer already looking very good i will do two layers in the end so this is the back that i've done this is the front so whatever you're doing if you're doing multiple layers make sure that it dries very well in between you can basically let it dry for a few hours but i just like to dry it overnight or sometimes even a couple of days that just depends on my schedule but just make sure it is really dry before applying the second layer I'm just going all over the bag. This is the edge coat. As you could tell, like the edges were very damaged. Now, I'm not a leather professional, so I'm sure there's more you can do to these edges to make them look okay. But I'm just going to put a coating on it to make it a bit more, you know, acceptable. So the tool that I'm using is from Amazon. Once again, I will link everything. It, it's just a sort of a roller and it just rolls and it is meant to work on these edges. I will repeat this step also. I've done it. Eventually, I did like two or three layers of this glazing actually. Every time you put a layer of paint or whatever on there, just make sure it's very thin. You can always go back in and the job will look very neat. So this was the end result. As you can tell, my nails have changed. This was after a few days. I did two layers of paint and two to three layers of the edge coating. And now I'm going in with some leather sheen make sure to remove all the dust as i've said before it is very important now this leather sheen you can use it in different ways you can just put it on there and let it dry but i just like to really rub it and work it in the leather it is meant to protect the paint job and just the leather overall And depending on how you use it, the end result can look shiny or more matte. Now, I'm going to add a strap because, like, why not? I like to have a shoulder option. I like to have different straps and chain options. Online, you can find different type of, types of rings or grommets. I'm not really measuring anything, as you can tell. I'm just <laughs> eyeballing it, so to say. It's very easy. Just make sure that if you add rings that you really, really secure them well. Because the last thing you want is 
for you to use your bag and <laughs> the whole thing just coming off. So just make sure you secure the rings very well. I am not worried about the leather or whatever the bag getting too heavy for these rings to hold the bag because there's only so much that can fit in this bag and I'm only going to wear small daily essentials and my phones. I've done this a couple of times before, it's all fine, L nothing will happen. The leather is strong enough to hold this type of a ring. If you're thinking about doing up a bag or giving a bag a makeover like this, I would encourage you to do it. Just watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's how I've done it. I've done a lot of research. There are many videos out there and just take your time. Or maybe you've done bag projects already. Please let me know what you've done. Did you change the color? Did you add a strap? Let me know the steps you took and also the products you've used. But for those who are really not sure, you can still strike up a good deal online and take it to the bag spa. Like, let's see if you see a damaged bag, leather bag online. You can still take it to the bag spa and they will take care of it for you. Anyway, these are the options that I'm going for. I absolutely love this leather strap. Also, this sort of Chanel-esque strap chain is so cute i think it would look so well then this canvas this woven strap is also great it doesn't exactly match this bag but i think it will look kind of cool and of course a classic gold chain can't go wrong with a gold chain so nice and shiny love it so much so now we can create the look that we're going for on you know any particular day you can dress it up you can dress it down look at this oh my god i love this epi leather so much i just love the look of this bag with this gold lock and then the epi leather is so understated like the epi leather is like if you know you know without screaming louis vuitton like the monogram the monogram is cute, don't get me wrong, but I absolutely love epi leather, black epi leather. This is how it looks with the classy chain, gives it a different look, more dressy. What do you think? Really cute, I love it so much. Love it so, so much. Absolutely stunning. Now here I've paired it with a gold chain dresses it up even more this bag is is not too big not too small but i think you can still pull it off on more for more dressier occasions i mean like not a gala or anything but maybe like a dinner date or a night out with friends and here a super casual look with this woven strap i absolutely love the pattern on this strap it would have been perfect if those leather parts were also black, but it's okay. It gives you a crossbody option. Really, really nice. Which one was your favorite? Which strap or chain would you pair this bag with? I'm so happy with the end result. As I told you before, it has some wrinkles around the lock that I cannot, I don't know how to um, get rid of those. But overall, you don't see any of the stains anymore. The damage is gone. Super nice and shiny and well protected because of the leather sheen. Look how lovely. So this took me a total of like five, six days with the drying in between. You can pull it off in like two days or so. It just depends on if you have time, but make sure to dry it well in between the steps. Look how beautiful. I have more fun projects coming up, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out on those. If you have any questions, please, I'm here. I like to help out where I can. If this video has helped you, please give it a like, help me out, and I'll see you next time.